So in this video, you'll learn how to customize the side button long press on your Samsung Galaxy S25. So normally, whenever you long press on the side button, if you haven't customized it, all it'll do is simply bring up the assistant, whether it's Gemini or Google Assistant. So if you want to customize it for you to do something else, so for example, bringing up the power off menu so that you don't have to keep pressing two buttons, you can just long press on it, this is what you need to do. Start by opening the settings app and in settings, you want to scroll and select the option advanced features. From here, tap on side button, and then select long press. So again, by default, it's set to your digital assistant and you can always choose to customize the digital assistant. So it's currently set to Google, but if you tap on this settings icon, you can choose to set it to another uh, supported system. So for example, since Firefox is supported by my S25, it's listed right here. So I can just tap on it and that will be my new digital assistant. So if I long press on the side button like this, then the Firefox will launch and I can be able to use it on my phone. You can also choose to change it to something else. So for example, you can choose to use Bixby, which is the Samsung AI. So you can just tap on it like this. If you haven't set up Bixby, whenever you long press on this side button, to take you through the process to set it up so you can start using the feature on your phone. But if you want to have the power off menu, then just select power off menu. And now, whenever you long press on the side button, the power off menu should appear on your device. And so that's how you can customize the side button long press on your Samsung Galaxy S25. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.